All right, now Samsung has launched two brand new Buds, the Buds 3 Pro and the Buds 3, and you might be wondering which one you should be going for. In this video, I'm gonna compare these two earbuds and help you guys decide which is the right one for you. Even though I don't have these Buds in the studio, I will be getting them very soon, and I will uh, do an in-depth review, so stay tuned for those videos. But this video is gonna help you uh, compare these two earbuds and understand uh, the specifications and uh, make a decision on which one you should be buying. So let's dive in. Now let's keep the design aspects for the later part of this video. First, let's discuss the similarities. Both of them offer ultra high quality sound. On both of them, we get to hear 24 bit and 96 kilohertz sound. So there is no difference there. Both these buds offer active noise cancellation or active noise control. You will get to hear crisp and clear sound without any ambient noise. So we have this feature on both these buds. Then we've got adaptive equalizer feature on both these buds. The sound effects will automatically adjust itself. So you don't have to manually adjust the equalizer. This is a fantastic feature we have got on these two buds. We do have 360 audio on both these buds. The durability rating for both these buds is IP57, which means we do have a light dust protection and it also protects the buds from water. We have got Samsung Find feature on both these buds. The Bluetooth version is 5.4 on both of them. And we do have auto switch feature on both of these buds. These are some of the important similarities between these two buds, the Buds 3 and the Buds 3 Pro. Now let's talk about the differences between these two buds. This is gonna be very, very important to know. And this is where we talk about the design. The buds Buds 3 Pro has a canal type design and the Buds 3 is an open design that we have and this matters to a lot of people out there. On the Buds 3 Pro we have these rubber tips which may be uncomfortable for some people out there. Personally I don't prefer Buds with the ear tips because those rubber tips will fit into the ears and it blocks the entire ear and for longer duration of listening it is a little uncomfortable for me and I'm sure uh, Samsung has understood the market and there are people who want these open type ear buds which will make it comfortable to wear but that also comes with some limitations. Uh, it is just one size that we get whereas the rubber tips can come with three different sizes. You can choose the one you want depending on your ear size. Whereas the open type ear buds we just have one size if it is too big for your ear canal, then that might not be suitable for you. So you have to keep these things in mind. Apart from that, the design language is same for both the buds. The case design is same. Uh, the buds design is same, except for one thing, that is the blade light. We do have blade lights on the Buds 3 Pro and not on the Buds 3. The blade light does serve some purpose. It does indicate the battery percentage, etc., but may not be that important. We can definitely live without that. The next important difference to note here is the Buds 3 comes with just one single driver that is 11 mm, whereas the Buds 3 Pro comes with two different drivers. One is the 10.5 mm dynamic speaker and the other one is uh, 6.1 mm planar. This is what makes these buds pro because we have, they have got two different drivers. So there will be some difference in terms of sound quality between these two buds, mainly because of the drivers. But if you have been using uh, the regular buds, the buds uh, 2 pro or buds 2 or any other uh, buds, I don't think you will notice that much of a difference when you use the buds 3 regular. But if you uh, use the buds 3 pro, then you will definitely notice some difference in terms of sound quality. The next important difference will be in terms of battery performance. The Buds 3 offers 48mAh battery while the charging case offers 515mAh battery. And they claim 6 hours of playback time uh, with the Buds and 30 hours with the case with ANC off and 5 hours with the Buds and 24 hours with the case with ANC turned on. But when it comes to Buds 3, it comes with 53mAh battery size and offers just 1 hour of additional playback time. So that is just 1 hour benefit that you're going to get if you upgrade to uh, the Buds 3 Pro. Next, we have got adaptive noise control on the Buds 3 Pro and we don't have that on the Buds 3. Then we have ambient sound option on the Buds 3 Pro and we don't have that option on Buds 3. And this is mainly because Buds 3 has an open design. So maybe the ambient sound option is not really applicable for this Buds, whereas the Buds 3 Pro has got this ambient sound feature. Basically, this feature allows you to hear the ambient sound whenever you activate ambient sound option. Uh, with the Buds 3, with the open design, obviously you will hear the noise from outside so that is something to note here so these are some of the important differences between these two buds we saw the similarities we saw the differences between these two buds now it's time you decide which one is the right for you now if you ask me i would uh, rather go with buds 3 uh, regular that is mainly because I like the open ear design. I don't like the uh, ear tips uh, fitting into my ears and making me uncomfortable, but that's a personal choice. Mainly because of that design factor, I would go with the Buds 3. I don't care about the ambient noise. I don't care about the uh, uh, twin driver that we have got on the Buds 3 Pro and a few other additional features, maybe one hour of extra playback on the Buds 3 Pro. Uh, all these don't matter to me, so I would rather pick the Buds 3 regular. And also the price, 
is going to be lesser compared to Buds 3 Pro. By the way, the Buds 3 Pro is priced at 249 US dollars and the Buds 3 regular is priced at 179 US dollar. So there is a big difference of $70 between these two Buds and the additional benefits that the Pro offer is really good, but it completely depends on you what you exactly want. And the first thing you need to think about is the design, the open design or the canal design that we have on the Buds 3 Pro. So that is going to be a deciding factor. The rest of it, I think if you're going from the Buds 2 or any other Buds from Samsung, uh, but 3 regular is going to be fantastic as long as you're okay with the open ear type and as long as you're okay to hear the ambient sound you can go with uh, Buds 3. If you're willing to shell out about $70 extra and uh, get that Pro features with slightly better sound quality, adaptive ambient sound feature, and some additional features with an extra one hour of uh, playback time, then Galaxy Buds 3 Pro is gonna be for you. So you decide what you want, drop a comment and let me know which one you are picking. Uh, have you already pre-ordered it? Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will be making a review of the Buds, the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy, uh, the brand new Galaxy phones very, very soon. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. My name is Salia signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.